better than going camping with my pals. Peaceful Acres under new management? What's up with this here? Hey ho, everybody! Waddy, Waddy! Somebody took over our favorite campground! Oh, yeah, they did! Where are we gonna camp now, Woody? Because I already pumped up my new air mattress and everything. Smorgasbord Acres. Camping. Free. Free camping. This is our lucky day, gang. Last one to set up makes the s'mores. Uh, uh, yeah. Now this is relaxing. Oh, yoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Bolivarus. Smorgasbord Acres is my campground, and I'm so happy you came to do fun stuff with me. I could just yodel. This calls for a celebration, ya. Yeah. If you ask me, this is more of a funny farm than a campground. Let's amscray. You can't leave when we're just about to start the Speedy Olympics. The Speedy Olympics? Yeah, and I challenge you, Woodpecker. No way, Bull! Sheesh, let's get out of here. There's a prize. If you win, I cook your meals, clean your camp, and blow up your air mattresses every day with fresh mountain air flowing in from Sweden. Free camping and a camp butler? Oh, this could be plush. What's the big yikes? With this flaming wiener, I declare the Speed Olympics officially open. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> The first event will be the Mustache Weightlifting Contest. Whoever can lift these weights the highest, using only the power of the mustache, is the winner. Hey, I don't have a mustache. What kind of Olympics are these anyway? They're my Olympics. The Speed Olympic Committee is proud to provide you with this fake mustache at no charge. <laughs> Looks like me and my pals are gonna have to make these our Olympics. Eat that, Woodpecker. This isn't a yoinky doinky disco club. Lift the weights already. This can't be! You're the man! You're the winner! Yes, you won, Woody! Yeah. Yeah. What you Not yet, Woodpecker! The next event is the Swedish Meatball Leap and Eat. We dive from that tower down into the meatballs and gravy. Whoever eats them all wins! Free grub in a tub! Now you're talking, Wally! <laughs> Meatballs, Buster. They're the kind of meatballs I like, Woodpecker. <laughs> hey, no fair. That's cheating. Now you won't come on, Billy. Wally. Guess that ends the Speedy Olympics, huh? No way, Woodpecker. We have the final event. 
The Herring Pool. Whoever gets that flag on the other side of the lake wins. And they're gonna be pulled by Johan and Gustav, the Herring Brothers. That's the Herring Brothers. Go! Tilly, I'll go high. You go low. I'll get it, you crazy woodpecker! Now do I win, Wally? No, there's still one more event. It's the... Uh... Second thought, I give up. You win, Woodpecker. Okay. Hooray! You are the one, Woodpecker! Oh, yeah. Now, this is my kind of camping. Yoinky, doinky. <laughs> Now grant you three wishes. Woo but I reserve the right to change modifier, determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, six point seven APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. <laughs> Hmm, this simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm, what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. Maybe we... That does it. You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh, man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the hair and pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three wishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. <laughs> this is the life. Ah! <laughs> I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right, I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? 
Yeah, I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair! <laughs> a washboard stomach! <laughs> Now, you're the reigning king of Sweden. <laughs> I get you! Yeeny Woodpecker! Ah! Hmm. How will I ever find my magic lamp? Eureka! I wish for, hmm, a three-story house. Oh, joy, my own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah, and I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. No, too stuffy. <laughs> No, too conformy. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Poison. I you. Huh? Hmm. What the? Having fun yet? Yeah. Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. And here's your third story. <laughs> Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Oh no. Some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeenie again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeenie again. No, I want to be the Yeenie. No, I'm the Genie. No, I'm the Yeenie. No, me. Me, 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 Did you know that flowers have personality just as do people and animals? Some flowers seem to smile. Some are sad. Others are simple, sincere, and upright. One of the most beautiful of the flowering shrubs is the hibiscus. For cramped quarters, we suggest the low biscus. Some prefer the sea biscus. But that's a horse of another color. <laughs> this delicate looking plant is called Terrificus odorous, or stinkweed to you. No cocktail party would be complete without the ice plant. Next, let us introduce to you the gladiolus. These gay flowers are commonly called glad. Glad to know you. Glad to know you. Glad to see you. Glad to meet you. Glad you're here. I'm glad to see you again. Glad you're back. Here's a chap contemplating a purchase. No. No. Not that one. No. 
Yes, that one. Ah, oh, that's a beauty. Now, hurry home and plant it in a nice, sunny location. And remember, keep the weeds away from it. Okay. Now shake hands.
Now, what do you know? A new pool hall in the neighborhood. I haven't played in ages. Oh, oh Twiggy, quick. Get busy. We got us a new customer to con. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, chum. Take a free shot, why don't you? It's on the house. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a great shot. Huh? Wow! I'm better than I remember. Say, you aren't by any chance here for the big contest today, are you? What contest? Well, whomsoever beats the champion, uh, and it be me, wins a free lifetime pass to Buzz Buzzard's Pool Emporium. Free is my favorite thing. What's the catch? No catch, sport. That's just a simple one-time entry fee of uh, 25... Sixty, seventy-five, uh, nine. Yeah, $79, and you're good to go. Hey, that's all the dough I got. But the good news is, if you, I mean, when you win, you get the entry fee back with your lifetime of free pool. The game is, first one to knock in a hundred balls wins. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh, my turn. Look, Haley's coming. That's a disco ball. What? I sunk them all. Your turn again. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? Seeing things. Uh. Hey, what's going on here? Huh? Phooey, I missed that. So it's your shot again. Oh, it's the last time I ever get involved with it. <laughs> <laughs> No pitcher, and this whole joint is rigged for cheating. Give me my money back. That's uh, the security staff. <laughs> and I don't cheat, Woodpecker, besides, in which I told you, you got a win to get your dough back. Oh, yeah, boss, your favorite cue stick. I cleaned it and waxed it and tuned it up a lot. Bye. The more difficult the shots, the better I like it. To prove I ain't cheating, I'm gonna call my shots before I shoot. All the balls in the corner pocket, banking them off the lamp. Huh? Well, another whole bunch of points for me. <laughs> I gotta fix this cheater's wagon. And I know just how to do it. Sorry. Off the jukebox. Over the mouse, out the door, and into the mailbox. <laughs> that was so not regulation, boss. And more to the point, that woodpecker stole my cue stick. Off the cab, to the stop sign, off the manhole cover, and into the flower pot. Gosh, boss, you couldn't make that shot even with your trick cues to get it. Then go make me make it, Tweaky.
The, uh... The, uh, sink that's down the hallway and up two flights of stairs? Yeah! Into the sink! <laughs> I gotta get a new job. Oh, this game's got my name written all over it, Woodpecker! And so does this jail cell. Jail? <laughs> Officer, this guy runs a crooked pool hall. Thanks, we've been trying to catch this buzz buzzard red-handed for a long time. You got a nice Wonder reward you know coming. I tell you, that woodpecker tricked me. He stole my pool cue. How's a guy supposed to win a game without a pool cue, I asked you. Is that an inequity or not? Pool Think I'll go celebrate and play some more golf, highlight, Chinese checkers, anything but pool. <laughs> <laughs> Day. Remember, food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. Woo! <laughs> I know. I'll throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of which the Scottish has never seen. What pecker? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Nini around? Sometimes, if you want to beat him, you gotta join them. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. You'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. <laughs> 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 Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector! <laughs> Party time! <laughs> oh, surveillance is a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Party Central? Book me your all-termite band and deliver the biggest party tent you got. Party Central. Two, three, four! You don't understand me! You think that I'm a freak! And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a deal! Great! Did you bring the tent? About. That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a deal. And tenting the house to get rid of the termites cost me $500. Two, three, four. Maybe you should go away for the day until the termites are taken care of. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. 
musical termites? Ha! There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Oh, Inspector! Am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. <laughs> Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir! <laughs> Nothing, you and put the topper to this. Already, I will. Meanie's coming. I say, no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel. I don't know how to parachute! There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> I've got you now, Woodpecker! Hands on that little party animal! Day. A day to be a loud, proud Scotsman, laddie. Oi! <laughs> hey, Woody! Time for a Woody Woodpecker cartoon! Today we journey to the beach. What a delightful place to spend the day. Here one finds complete relaxation and is invigorated by the tang of the fresh salt air. The soothing rhythm of the surf, ah, uh, should we say carries one away? Yes, I think we should. For those who seek entertainment, there is the amusement pier where everything, say, wonder why all the crowd, looks like a fight. I guess you think you're trying to kill this turkey. Well, I am, and I tell you why. Today is my day off. So, as is my usual custom, I can't do the beach. My body lies above the ocean. <laughs> The 
to bring back, get to bring back, get to bring back my body to me, to me. Ah, bring back, get to bring back, get to bring back my body to me. Ah. Emotional episode of As the Bread Rises.
These are government-issued solar panels, Sergeant Hogwash. They can power the entire base. Is that understood? Sir, understood, sir! Hook them up double time. Then give one panel to every civilian in the nearby area. At ease. Officers. Eh, I don't see any civilians in the area. So, I guess these extra panels are mine. <laughs> Perfect for heating up my new hot tub and sauna. Huh? That is short stuff. Major didn't say nothing about no penguins getting solar panels. Slide part A in the holes in part B. That's easy as up, two, three, four. Now attach part B to part C. Say, short stuff. Unauthorized removal of military equipment is against Arctic Corps regulation. Snakey little critter. Trying to outflank me, huh? Take that! Buddy. One solar panel pilfering penguin discharged from this man's army. Time to light this candle. Funny. The engines burn away, but I didn't push the start button. Dress bird will not go a wall with my solar power. This detail is over. Nice touch. Very classy, and I know classy when I see it. Work is done. Time for fun. Now I'm in, watch me swim. That's a fin. Hmm, this looks familiar. Must be a copy of one of them famous museum pieces. Venus to miles ago, that's it. Everything the enlisted man needs to have a good time in the tub. <sighs> huh? Who's messing with my duck? Hmm. Could have sworn that statue was over there before. Get back here, you! We are now in launch mode. Ah, yes. Yeah. Brings back memories of the time when I was a military high dive campaign. Used to use softer water. This calls for a frontal assault. Charge! Poor battlefield tactics, soldier. No retreat plan. Whoa! Tough being ground zero, ain't it? I was military bowling champion, too. Enemy off the starboard bow! Sneak attack! Battle stations! Every man for himself! Huh? Whoa! Sub at six o'clock! Gonna open this sardine can and extract one pesky penguin! <laughs> Get me out of here, you little tuxedo terrorist! Victory through air power! of impersonating a naval submarine commander. You may think you're winning this battle, soldiers, but I'm gonna win this war! <laughs> <laughs> the cook.
Coupe de grass. My son. Soldier, I I can explain, sir. Saunas and hot tubs are not regulation, soldier. No, sir. Neither is your size. Not regulation, sir. I want this hot tub and this sauna off my base. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Way down here, sir. I'm busting you down to private. Understand, Pipsqueak? Sir, Pipsqueak, understand, sir. Legend has it that King Tut's court jester, Easy What's Up With That, stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure <gasps> into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? What are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I have spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. Oh. And look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> you've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. Oh, my. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, Easy. I asked you first, who is he? No, Easy. That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester, Easy. Yeah, is he? What's up with that? Exactly! Easy, what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh, exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful. It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby-trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse. <laughs> booby traps. Curses. <laughs> a bunch of tourist trash. Professor? Professor? Professor, is everything all right? Oh, how exciting! A chance to decipher real hieroglyphics. Hmm, from ancient times on, every picture has told a story. Yeah, like where the treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Wow, that really is the 
oldest joke in the world. <laughs> hmm. She's the expert. The treasure must be that way. Oof, 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 oof. Or maybe the treasure is this way. <laughs> Maybe it goes up. Enough for the nibble nibble. Mayday, mayday. My expedition has been cursed by Haveco. Send help now. Hmm. No. Wait a minute. Push for treasure. Treasure. It must be in there. and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine! <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. I did the chicken cross the road to find my discovery. <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? He must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him.
Thank you. 